It's J.D. Hayworth and Larry Kawa stays with us, the good doctor, the orthodontist and active citizen. Uh, Larry, we've asked you to stay on really in your role now with American Courage Pack and as someone who has been involved politically, uh, there are even more scandals emerging about the Obama administration. Word out today in the Washington Post, which yes, the Washington Post, uh, an investigative reporter uh, saying the lead investigator into the Secret Service prostitution uh, scandal was told to hold on to the report uh, about that scandal until following the 2012 election. According to the article, David Nealon told by his bosses at the Department of Homeland Security IG's office to withhold and alter certain information in the report of the investigation because it was potentially embarrassing to the administration. So we get word on this again a couple of years after it happens. Uh, but what, another brick in the wall? Another problem for the midterm? It was obviously political kryptonite. So they tried to squelch it prior to the midterm elections and sort of paint over rust. But uh, the truth is that saying you're a beacon of transparency doesn't make it any more so than standing in a garage makes you a car. This president <laughs> has decided that he's going to claim and embrace transparency. But when it comes to making sure that transparency exists, I guess you could say that uh, charity begins at home and justice begins next door. Everybody else should be transparent. But this is a president where we know little about him or the policies that he supposedly has. And I guess the Secret Service got some services that weren't so secret after all. Larry, we also have the IRS scandal with Lois Lana and her missing emails. And obviously what happened with those emails has dwarfed the real issue here. The IRS was targeting conservative groups ahead of the 2012 election. What kind of damage did that IRS targeting do to conservative groups, in your opinion? Well, it really made a, a major dent into the minds of those that were political thinkers in the conservative side of the aisle. Because, you know, the name of the pack that I had started is American Courage Pack. However, there are other PACs that had the words Tea Party or Patriot that were in the PAC. Uh, and the problem is that just by virtue of using those words, it was something that was really a curse word within the realm of the IRS. And when you're targeting, when you're using a, a political instrument like the IRS that we sponsor, regardless of which side of the aisle you're from, you got to ask yourself, if you're a Democrat, are you going to be okay with that IRS machine now having you in the crosshairs if the next president should be uh, a Republican president. The, the IRS is meant to be a nonpartisan uh, entity, and clearly they right. failed in that regard. Do you think we'll ever get to the bottom of this, Larry, and discover the truth? I don't think so. I uh, bear in mind that the, the six people who uh, Lois Lerner communicated with, with their computers, their computers coincidentally crashed as well. I guess the question is, are you kidding me? How are you going to have one person's computer crash and the six people that you're dealing with, their computers crashed as well? And then they say that they didn't have it. Bear in mind, they did archive their emails. Sonosoft archived the IRS emails. What puzzles me is why no one has really turned to Sonosoft to see why don't they subpoena their emails. Supposedly, that's the archival company that used to say, if we're good enough for the IRS, we're good enough for you. Well, if you're good enough for the IRS, you're good enough for us to find out what happened to the emails that you archived. Where's the backup? No one talks about Sonosoft. Coming back full circle, you joined us to talk about your, your case against Obamacare, the lawsuit you filed. Uh, I remember when Obamacare was being rolled out, one famous columnist talked about it's going to be effective health care like the Veterans Administration. So you got the VA scandal, and that's not only medical because there's, there's a dental component of that as well, and still no real documentation uh, coming forward. You've had the congressional hearings. You have a whole new law, but there's... It's as if the evidence, the trail has gone cold in much the same way you see with the IRS. Electronic intervention, something's going on. Will this administration ever be able to restore its credibility or does it matter at this point? I don't know that it really matters in the mind of most Americans. I think it's important for the average voter to decide what sort of reference legs they use philosophically to determine who they want as president. You know, you make heart decisions and head decisions. If it's a heart decision, President Obama seems like a really nice guy to go out and have a couple of beers with. From a head decision perspective, you got to ask yourself, if I'm running a corporation, is this the guy who I want in charge of the corporation? What has he done? What has he done to win a Nobel Peace Prize? What has he done to say that America is emblematic of American exceptionalism uh, once again? What has he done to create mourning in America? What has he done other than be a really nice person and a good orator? Because if being a good orator is being a good president, 
then if that's the case, then you've got a good president. Uh, the problem is, a lot of these scandals, yet another emerging scandal about the EPA and texts that are disappearing. So mm -hmm. you add that. Uh, just one personal question, 20 seconds before we go. You're on a roll. I mean, I've, I've served in public office. I hear you. You make some observations that it's, it's red meat. Are you going to end up running for public office one I'm day? I'm not running for anything. I'm running towards something. I'm running towards a better America. I would love to see that uh, an America with a greater awareness, an America that determines how it's going to make its decisions and run America like it's a company that we're all on the board of and make decisions like you're voting on the board and make head decisions, not heart decisions. Fair enough. Dr. Larry Kawa, we thank you for your time. It's good to have you here. I don't know. I still think he's going to run for public office. More to come here on America's Forum.